welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to load a gltf 3d model in native ios app uh, so previously i have done uh, showing a 3d model but uh, uh, in that video i was using uhdz model but it is possible to uh, display gltf model as well so for that we will be making use of this gltf kit 2 library and uh, uh, to be uh, like uh, just to warn you like this library is only available via swift package manager uh, and it is not available via CocoaPods. Uh, otherwise you can do manual installation like i'm not sure how to do manual installation never done it but yeah i will be using swift package manager so just copy this uh, github url and uh, you will just have to click on file uh, add package dependency and just paste the url over here and click on add package uh, that's it uh, next here as you can see i have created a view controller oh sorry i forgot to show you the output so this is the output here you can see uh, like it's not possible to load a gltf model from network you can only so if you have a model on network you will first have to download it locally and then pass that local url i have also done the same thing for usdc so if you want to copy like if you want to download a a model or a file from a network you can copy that code and you just have to change the file path i think only the file name uh, not even the file path so here what i have done just to keep it simple i have just copy pasted the glb model or gltf model uh, inside of a project so this is the gltf model also i have created uh, like i have also copied this hdri image like this is i think for background uh, uh, so yeah uh, next uh, you just have to import gltf kit to here uh, i have given this environment light name as our neutral small hdr image like you if you want an hdr image you just search for hdr on google you will find a lot of images and here i have created an environment intensity then i have created a scene view uh, and a scene node here we are initializing our scene view and setting an auto resizing mask a background color anti-aliasing auto enable default lighting allow camera control and default camera control all this all kinds of stuff so yeah uh, and next we are adding that scene view to our main view then we are creating a scn scene and then adding a child node to it as well as light environment for contents and intensity then adding that scene to our scene view then here you can see i'm getting our flight helmet glb model so replace uh, it with your own name uh, anyways you can find a gltf model online just search for gltf model you can use any gltf model and here we are just calling this load asset method and if there is any error i am printing it to the console and for the load asset uh, we have just copy pasted this from the docs uh, like uh, we are uh, calling gltf asset dot load with the asset url and it tells you the progress status uh, maybe asset and maybe error so the, depending on that we are calling this prepare asset method and inside prepare asset we are just calling this gltf scene source and from that we are getting an asset scene and from the asset scene we are looping over all the nodes child nodes and as adding it to our asset container and on the main thread again we are just calling this uh, dispatch queue dot handler method so yeah like we are calling the prepare method and uh, we are just sending the handler name uh, because there is no error so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye